I tried Yoru for the first time, and it went really bad. Like, really bad. I almost hit plat 2 with him, but I lost my rank up match. Honestly, I wanted to quit after trying it out, but everyone in the comments from my last video wanted me to keep playing Yoru, because apparently, I wasn't playing Bruh. it right. And to that, I say, suck my f***ing dick. But anyways, they were right. I was lost when I played Yoru for the first time. So you know what? I decided to play Yoru for 7 days, and see if he's actually good, or still the worst agent in the game. Day 1. I woke up, got on, and played a deathmatch. I did pretty bad. Then played a couple ranked matches. I actually made a whole video about this, but in short, this happened. There was a lot of killing. Not so much util usage. Wait, wait, wait. But I got this fire clutch though. Anicha. Yeah, I don't know why that's here. Anyways, day one went pretty well. We won two of our games, but lost our rank up match. I stayed plat one and didn't rank up, but I had six more days to play Yoru. So... Day two! Since I played the day before, I didn't do a death match and went straight into a game. I saw this omen staring at a wall and I got body blocked by a killjoy turret. Bruh. I'm stuck. Our omen was making some crazy strats, but none of them worked. Let's rush mid. Never punish. Let's go. And honestly, we were losing a lot of rounds. Stupid ones, in fact. <laughs> we were throwing, and it didn't stop there. Uh. We kept getting into 1vx situations that we just could not win. And that made me really frustrated. What the Since we couldn't win our ones, we eventually lost. Technically, you could say it was a close match, but for me, it was an absolute disaster. I went 8-21 and 21 that game. You would think I would stop playing after that, but no. I immediately queued up for another match as Yoru, and I was up to my shenanigans again. Should I meow? I was messing around, whether or not I got kills. The last game definitely took a toll on me, as I was on autopilot pretty much, and a lot of my plays looked like NPC movements. Over the past few days, I've noticed that when I play Yoru, my brain immediately wants to throw. So for the entire half, I did pretty much that. The only reason why the scoreline was even 6-6 was because my Reyna was just cracked out of his mind. And by the end of the half, I was double negative. In the back of my mind, I knew I was kinda trolling. So when we started losing rounds, I started trying a little bit. I don't know how we did it, but we won the match. I got off afterwards. I was just glad that I didn't go all the way down to gold today. But on day three, well, see for yourself. We lost the game without winning a single round, not even one. I was devastated, so I got off and hoped that I could start fresh on day four. Day four. I think I had a hormone deficit or something, because I was a little unhinged today. Hasta la vista, baby. Shut the fuck up, kid! Shut the fuck up! At least my aim was better today. But the trolling, still the same. They have to push in here. Just don't open the door. Don't open the door. Open please. the door. Five, four, three. Launch the shoddy. La, 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 la. On round two, I got jump scared. Hello there. And on round three, I went crazy with this 4K. Even with my kills, my teammates were playing like ass. But honestly, we were still stomping them. Dude, these people are shit. If it wasn't me shitting on them, it was my teammates. Of course, I was going crazy too. Wait, hold on, hold on. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. See, after I lost the clutch, things were gonna go out of control. We were trolling, and because of that, we let the other team catch up to us. Okay. 
<laughs> yo, yo! Thank God we won that. Even with Raina's terrible aim. I actually went positive, meaning that this was the best game I've ever had since I started this challenge. But I barely won though, so I had to go crazy for the rest of the seven days. Day five. I really want to secure my wins, so I called out my friend who was ascended to to smurf and gold with me. We started out pretty well, with both of us getting kills. Or just me, I guess. Since I was doing pretty well, I wanted to op. It wasn't easy. But I did get the hang of it afterwards. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of cracked with it. But my friend was not cracked, even though he's ascended. We were winning by a sizable gap, and I was doing pretty good. But nothing bad's gonna happen, right? Right? What the fuck? We literally threw our match for no reason. And obviously, according to usual fashion, I queued up another match. And we threw that one too. Again, from 8-4 to a 10-13 loss. And then I played another one after that. And this time we just lost. I deranked down to goal three, and I was really in the gutter now. I couldn't play on day six, so I had time to warm up and get myself together. And this time, I came prepared. I woke up this morning feeling like a god and immediately warmed up. I had only one goal, get to plot. And for the final day, I'll let you see for yourself. Oh wait, right now. my plot rank up and it was over after seven days i can officially say that yoru is the worst agent in valorant i do not care what you say yoru sucks i will never ever play him again but iso just got released and i will be grinding him back to ascendant the rank that i once lost so like and subscribe to see my journey to become the best iso main in valorant history and i'll see you next time